Hey friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install all your plugins, your VST, your AU files into Ableton Live 11. Okay, let's jump in, see how this is done. So if you're having trouble installing plugins in Ableton Live, here's a few things you can check. So make sure that plugins are compatible with your version of Ableton Live. As some plugins may only work with specific versions of Ableton Live. So also check the file format of the plugin. Ableton Live supports VSTs and AU formats, so make sure the plugin is one of those. Also check the location of your plugins in Ableton Live. You can do this by pressing Command Comma, which opens up the preferences, or on Windows is Control Comma. You can also find it up here in the Live tab, you go to Settings, or in Windows, it's in Options and down here somewhere. Once you're in the Settings, go down to the Plugins tab, make sure your Use Audio Units version 2 is turned on, Audio Units turned on, and then use VST system plugins folders. So when you install your VSTs from developers, they will in automatically install into the system folders. If you've had to manually install things on your computer, you might have custom folders. So you can choose your destination here by going browse and finding where your plugins are stored. And you can turn that on as well if you want. I don't have any VST2s in any custom folders, so I'm just gonna keep it in my system folders. Then same for same options for VST3. So I'm going to choose the system folders. And exactly the same thing down here. You can choose the destination if you have any custom folders. Then here, the plugin windows. This is this is like an additional option. I would highly suggest turn it on. Having multiple plugin windows on. Then you've got auto hide plugins in Windows. Turn that off. And auto open plugin windows. Turn that off. So basically what happens then is if I select a track, it will automatically open all the plugins and then you've got auto open plugins. So this basically means if I'm not on the track, it will hide the plugins. And if I'm on the track, it will automatically open up all the plugins. Not a big fan of that, so I just turn it off. It's just it's good to be aware of it. So to close that down, we've done everything we can in Ableton Live now. So what we need to do is go over here and go to our plugins tab and that will show all the plugins you have available on your computer. If you still don't see it, there's a couple more things you can check. So make sure that your computer meets the minimum system requirements for the plugin you're trying to install. Try installing the plugin again and restarting Ableton Live. So once once you've done this, you can just press close down and open up Ableton Live again. Check if the plugin's been authorized by the developer or if it requires a license to be downloaded. Some plugins require additional installation steps such as copy and pasting files into specific folders. So make sure you followed that instruction correctly. And that's where this tab here could help you because if you've installed it into a certain place, you can go and search for that within Ableton Live. If you're still having trouble, try updating your version of Ableton Live 11 or whichever version of Ableton Live you're running and make sure your computer's operating system is as up to date as possible. If all these steps do not solve the problem, then there's maybe an issue with the plugin or your computer. I would suggest contacting the developer of the plugin or contact Ableton Live or contact the manufacturer of your computer. I hope that you got you sorted and got your plugins set up within Ableton Live. Like I say, any problems, just contact Ableton Live support. They're very good with helping you with things like that. Also, if you'd like to leave a comment below, if you have any questions about this video or any Ableton Live based questions, I'd be more than happy to help you. If this lesson helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, it really does help me build this channel. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.